God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Tuesday, January 12th. Like yesterday, today's devotional is based on the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verses 1 to 7. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the waters they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Sheba in, expa- in exchange for you, because you are precious in my sight and honored, and I love you. I give you people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east, and from the west I will gather you. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from far away and my daughters from the end of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. So today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Valerie Davis. A woman sits in a restaurant with her daughter, son-in-law, and only grandchild. The granddaughter plays in the lap of her grandmother, and the grandmother enthralled by her child's every move. This baby girl is barely two years old, is precious in the older woman's sight. Observers see it in their interaction. This delight must give give us some glimpse of what the prophet means by God's love and delight in the people of Israel and in us. Unabashed desire moves God to compassion and action. And Davis leaves us with this question today. This week, be alert for signs of preciousness. For whom is your compassion and action needed? Let us pray. I rest my heart knowing that you are with me when the waters threaten to overwhelm me. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional, and I hope you join me again tomorrow. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, keep washing your hands, practicing social distancing, and when you're in public, wear a mask. God bless.